What if the traffic light that saved millions of lives, the light bulb that lit the world, and the gas mask that rescued trapped workers were all credited to the wrong people? What if the inventors behind them were buried in obscurity, not because their ideas weren't brilliant, but because of the color of their skin? This is not a conspiracy theory. This is history. Hidden history. In the next few minutes, we're going to uncover 10 groundbreaking inventions that shaped the modern world. Yet the true minds behind them were never properly credited. You'll meet the genius who perfected the light bulb, but lived in the shadow of Edison. The woman who built the first home security system and was forgotten until recently. And the man who revolutionized sugar production only to be erased from the history books. What really happened behind the invention of the gas mask? Who actually made mobile refrigeration possible? And why did the world forget their names? By the end of this story, you'll never look at everyday technology the same way again. Throughout history, brilliant black inventors have revolutionized the way we live. Yet time and time again, their contributions were hidden, stolen, or quietly ignored. Patents were filed in other names, recognition went to someone else, and the textbooks left them out completely. This wasn't random, it was systemic. At the height of American innovation, from the Industrial Revolution to the 20th century tech boom, black inventors operated within a world that didn't see them as equals. Patent laws didn't protect them, publishers wouldn't print their names, and even when they succeeded, racism ensured their stories were erased. Why does this matter? Because history shapes our values. When we credit the wrong people, we not only rob inventors of their legacy, we teach future generations that only certain people can be geniuses. So today, we're setting the record straight. This is a countdown of 10 hidden black inventors whose work changed the world. The names you never knew, the stories you were never told, and the truth behind some of the most important innovations in human history At 10th place, we have Henry Boyd. In the mid 1800s, Henry Boyd, a formerly enslaved man, created a revolutionary new bed frame, the Boyd bedstead. It was sturdy, could be assembled and disassembled easily. It solved the problem of squeaky, unstable beds that plagued homes of the time. Boyd's bed frame was so advanced that it became wildly popular, especially in the American Midwest. But here's the twist. Boyd couldn't patent it under his own name. At the time, black Americans had no legal standing to hold patents. So he partnered with a white craftsman who filed it under his own name. While Boyd grew a successful furniture business, the historical record remained murky. His name was left off key documents, and generations later, he disappeared from history. His design, however, laid the groundwork for the modern bed frame, still in use in various forms today. In ninth place, we have Benjamin Montgomery, an enslaved engineer and store manager, developed a low-draft boat propeller that transformed navigation in shallow southern rivers. His invention came at a time when river commerce was booming, but shallow waters, limited cargo transport. Montgomery's design allowed boats to move efficiently in less than three feet of water. It was ingenious, it was necessary, and it could have made him famous. But when his owners attempted to file a patent in his name, the US Patent Office rejected it. Slaves were not considered citizens and couldn't legally own patents. When they reapplied under their own names, they were rejected again for not being the true inventors. Montgomery's work faded into obscurity, yet his propeller design became a foundation for shallow water marine transport, especially in southern agriculture and industry. In eighth place, we have Alice H. Parker, an African-American woman from New Jersey 
who patented a gas furnace that introduced the concept of central heating using ducts in 1919. This was groundbreaking. Her invention used natural gas rather than wood or coal and distributed heat throughout a building. Her patent, US 1,325,905, was decades ahead of its time, especially considering women, particularly black women, were nearly excluded from engineering. Despite the magnitude of her innovation, Parker's contribution went largely unnoticed for nearly a century. Today, gas-powered central heating is a standard in homes across the world. But Parker's name remains absent from most heating, ventilation, and air conditioning histories. In seventh place, some time ago, in 1969, Marie Van Britten Brown, a nurse in Queens, New York, feared for her safety during late night shifts. So, she invented a closed circuit security system. It included a camera that slid along a track, peepholes, a microphone for two-way communication, and an alarm that notified police. She received a patent, but media coverage was minimal. The tech industry did not take notice, and over the years, others built on her concept without citing her. Today, her system is the blueprint for smart doorbells and home security cameras used by millions. She was forgotten, but the invention lives on, silently watching over us every night. In sixth place, we have Frederick McKinley Jones, who changed how the world eats, travels, and heals. In the 1930s, he invented the first successful mobile refrigeration unit, revolutionizing food transportation. Before his invention, fresh produce, meat, and medicine couldn't travel long distances without spoiling. His technology helped feed cities and sustain troops during World War II. He received over 60 patents, yet Jones, a self-taught mechanic and World War I veteran, rarely appears in textbooks. Few know he co-founded Thermo King, which still dominates the refrigeration industry. Let's pause for a moment. According to the US Patent and Trademark Office, less than 0.5% of all patent holders in the United States today are black. Despite centuries of contribution, systemic barriers still exist. It's not just about the past. This is ongoing. A 2020 Harvard study found that children of color with high test scores in science and math were significantly less likely to become inventors than white children with similar scores. The reason? Lack of exposure, mentorship, and belief that they belonged in innovation. This is why telling these stories matters. Let's continue to the fifth place. In 1923, Garrett Morgan received a patent for a three-way traffic signal that included a warning light. Before this, most traffic signals simply switched between stop and go. Morgan's design added a third signal to slow traffic before stopping. It made intersections vastly safer. His idea was later purchased by General Electric and incorporated into future models. Yet few know Morgan's name. He was also the mind behind an early gas mask, which he used to rescue workers trapped in a tunnel in 1916. When reporters learned he was black, some newspapers refused to run the story. He saved lives. He made roads safer, but his story was buried. In fourth place, we have Norbert Rilieu, born in New Orleans in 1806, developed the multiple effective apparator for refining sugar. His invention revolutionized the sugar industry by making it safer and far more efficient. Before Rilieu's system, sugar refining was dangerous and imprecise. His closed loop system allowed for consistent temperatures and reduced worker injuries. It also dramatically lowered production costs. 
European sugar producers adopted the technology, but few knew Relu's name. Because of his race, many factories implemented his designs without credit. He eventually moved to Paris, disillusioned by the racism in America. Today's sugar industry still relies on the principles of Relu's system. In third place, we all know Thomas Edison, but we rarely hear about Louis Latimer. Latimer was a draftsman, engineer, an inventor who created a longer-lasting carbon filament that made Edison's light bulb commercially viable. His design kept bulbs from burning out too quickly and reduced production costs. He worked with both Alexander Graham Bell and Thomas Edison. He even wrote the first book on electric lighting. Yet, his name was consistently left out of the historical spotlight. Without Latimer's filament, Edison's bulb wouldn't have lit the world. And yet, most of us never learned his name. In second place, we have Dr. Patricia Bath, the first African-American woman to receive a medical patent. Invented the Lossifico probe in 1986, it revolutionized cataract surgery by using laser technology to make the procedure safer and more precise. But this idea was initially rejected in the United States. So, she took her research to Europe where her innovation was embraced. Despite her groundbreaking contribution to ophthalmology, she faced constant hurdles due to both her race and gender. Today, her invention is used worldwide to restore sight. But for decades, her achievements were overlooked in American medical institutions. I bet you have been waiting for this. At number one, we have Granville T. Woods, often called the Black Edison, was one of the most prolific inventors of the 19th century. He held over 60 patents, but his most groundbreaking was the induction telegraph system for trains. This system allowed trains to communicate with stations while moving, a game changer for railroad safety. Before this, collisions were common. Woods's invention prevented thousands of potential accidents. Thomas Edison claimed he invented it first and sued Woods. Twice, Woods won both cases. Yet history still remembers Edison, not Woods. He also invented the third rail system for subways, automatic braking systems, and improvements in telegraphy. His technologies are foundational to modern train systems. And yet, his name is barely mentioned, his legacy nearly erased. So where do we go from here? We are finally beginning to correct the historical record. Schools are slowly adding black inventors to their curriculum. Museums are creating exhibitions, but it's not enough. Every time we turn on a light, cross an intersection, or store food in a refrigerated truck, we are using the inventions of black geniuses who were denied their due. It's time we said their names. Support black innovators. Share their stories. Demand recognition in textbooks, documentaries, and classrooms, because recognizing their past changes our future. These stories remind us that greatness can come from anywhere, but recognition is often reserved for the privileged. Justice is not just about changing the present, it's about rewriting the past. The next time you encounter a new technology, take a moment to ask, who really made this possible? And who might still be waiting for credit? Which invention shocked you the most? Were there names you'd never heard before? Let us know in the comments. Have more hidden inventors we should cover? Drop their names below. Like, subscribe, and share to help uncover the real history behind the world's greatest innovations. And stay tuned for our next episode where we explore the inventions of indigenous engineers that shaped modern medicine. Let's set the record straight.